hey lovelies, my Hagrid hair and I are excited to see you. We are also very excited to be talking about the things that I'm sharing with you today. All of the blushes, all of the beautiful face products I cannot wait to share with you in today's video. I know that it has been significantly eyeshadow heavy recently here on my channel. Hashtag Sydney Grace, I don't know what to say. <laughs> So I thought it would be really refreshing to come in and share with you some non eyeshadow products. I do have a little eyeshadow mention towards the end of this video because I want to know your thoughts on a couple things. So we'll get to there. So today's video is primarily face color products that I cannot wait to try out with all of you. As you can see, I have a naked face right now. So we are going to be doing some live try on and I have a couple of other things that were sent to me that I want to share with you as well. But if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm going to dive right in. We're not going to beat around the bush for too long. We're going to talk about what we're going to talk about. <laughs> So I do have the three new RMS blush shades. If you've been around this channel for a little while, you will know that these have very quickly become an obsession. I do, it's so funny because I recently picked up the last of the original shades and I was mentioning like, yes, I finally have them all. And somebody was like, ha ha, they just released three new shades. Uh, I don't know, I don't know where this was found out, but it was not on the RMS uh, social media at all. So thank you to the little shopping ninjas who alerted me to that. I was like, how did I miss out on this? But I do have all three of the new shades. So we'll be using those on the Fache today. And I also have my Salt New York order. So Salt New York right now is doing a little uh, sale on, not a little sale, it's actually quite a big sale. I saw recently on Instagram that Salt New York is doing a revamp of all of their palettes. So to kind of clear out of those, they're doing the bundle deals at 40% off. So of course I had to go and get one. <laughs> so I'm going to unpack that with you today. And I'm really excited to try out because two of these, three of these things will be new to me. One of them is a repurchase. So we're going to dive into that as well. And like I said, I have a couple other bits and baubles to share with you along the way, but since I don't have any makeup on, let's go ahead and dive right in and take care of that, shall we? So this is another brand of products that I truly love. I feel like it's been a little while since I've chatted about them here on my channel. And I know that I've gotten quite a few new subscribers here to the channel. So in case you haven't heard about them much and you are a cream product lover like I am, I did want to give them a moment. So just so <laughs> that we're clear that this is not a new love to me. Where's my other one? I think I have it in my shop, my stash. Okay, so I have, I have a few Salt New York products here and another one right here. So <laughs> did I need more? Absolutely not. But as you can see here, my Sneaky Balm, look at that dip, y'all. I mean, I've got significant pan in here. So this has been in my Shop My Stash for the month. I just have it in this little Makeup Geek Compact uh, just to be able to like use singularly. I did find that I wasn't using the Sneaky Balm as much if I had it in a case like this. So I have been using this and loving it. I think it's been perfect for quick, easy makeup days, which is exactly what I need today. So I don't know that it's going to be so quick because we're going to be doing lots of try on, but uh, I am going for like quick vibes because I do have an appointment in a little while. We should be fine. So really quickly, before we get into what I just purchased, I'm just going to quickly show you what I already have. So this is in my shop, my stash for the month. So one of the things that I love about this brand is it was started by a wonderful makeup artist. Kiki has such a great eye for color and undertone. And for me, that's just been so key in all of these products because I think that they do have a beautiful undertone. And when she started her brand, it was lip and cheek color. So these are like the cream tint pro lip and cheek. And then, oh, I can't remember what she's calling them now. The basically like bronzer contour they might be called Sculpt. Ugh. And then the Radiant, which is obviously more of like a highlight. Now, while I am curious to see how that these packages are going to be revamped, I really did like this. I mean, it's such a luxe, like it's almost like a handbag for your products. You know what I mean? Like just so beautiful. Oh, I think I might've been covering this up. And did they come in two colors or was it just this one? I think it might've just been this one, but maybe there was a black as well. So the nice thing about this is they are very, very, very reusable. I mean, you can throw in single eyeshadows into this. Like, let's say you just wanted a bronzer and one blush, and then you wanted a couple eyeshadows over here and you just wanted a quick go like weekender palette. Here you go, right here. So I really do enjoy this. And then this is the other 
full one that I have. Oh, it's not full. Oh, I have room. That's exciting. So here's <laughs> here are more products. I really, truly do love this formula. The one thing is that for these products, it is one of these oddly like designed, doesn't perfectly fit everything. You know, you have quite a bit of space in here. For me, I like that because I like room to be able to get a brush in and not have carryover transfer contamination. That's what I'm talking about. So that is another reason why I like to have my sneaky balm right here because I can really kind of like get into this and I don't have to worry about bronzer or blush from another pan getting into this one. So I do like the little bit of space that's in here, but I know that like for people who like everything really nice and tight, maybe that's a problem. So that is what I currently have in my collection. Now, what I will say is these products are definitely something, in my opinion, for skin that is normal to dry because they are a very balmy emollient product. I don't find that they're like super incredibly oily, but if you do have oily skin, I don't think that you're gonna find that there's much longevity on your skin. That's just the nature of balms, but some people just don't care. Some people with oily skin just wanna wear them for like glowy, natural makeup. And you know, with some powder, with some setting, you can definitely get a little bit more longevity out of them, but they aren't exactly like all day wear. On me, I do think that most of these I get about, I mean, I would say like a good six hour wear out of, but when I'm reaching for these, I'm really looking for that just beautiful, soft, natural skin look where it just looks like it's me, but enhanced. And honestly, like Salt New York kills it at that. And the other thing is because these are so like travelable, you could very easily just take one of these if you were like, oh, after work, I'm gonna just touch up some of my cheek color and like, go out with the girls for drinks. I don't know. Do people do that? <laughs> sounds, sounds like fun. It's not something I ever do. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and get into these. I did pick up another refill of my Sneaky Balm. I am in the shade N10. I'm not gonna use this one today. Uh, I'm gonna keep it in its little travel pouch right here, and then we'll just go ahead and use this guy. So this is how all of these products come because the brand is a zero waste company. They really are good at creating minimal packaging. So the products were shipped in just enough packaging. You know, everything was packed with care, but definitely very minimally. Like my little palette came in this cute little bag and it says on the back, hi, I'm a bag. I can be recycled or reused as a travel pouch or a puppet of a little square ghost. So that is really like the only superfluous packaging here. And then you have the balms and then the balms all do come in these little paper envelopes. So this is my sneaky balm. Uh, then we have the Lip and Cheek Cream Tint Pro in Maple. This shade I have been really excited to try. I am going to swatch it next to a couple of the other shades. Uh, I will go ahead and swatch the new things next to anything that I think is somewhat similar. Now, some of the shades that I have are previous shades that they have discontinued. So some of the ones that I have aren't available anymore, but maybe it's something that you already have and you kind of want to see a comparison. So this is just so yummy. I think this is going to be perfect for fall, but I also think that it's going to give like that little bit of that like sunburnt vibe. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we're gonna just pop these in this new little compact. Then I have the shade Toasted Coconut. Now this is one of the two new products that Kiki has created and it does have a bit of a gleam and shimmer to it. When she was talking about these when she launched them, Toasted Coconut and the other one I think might be Sparkling Peach. So there were two shades and she was sort of saying that like, they are a mix of like the Radiant, the Sculpt and the Lip and Cheek together. So. Uh, you probably can't quite see that. Wow, maybe that actually looks close to maple. Eh. It, it'll be very interesting to see when these are swatched out. No, they're gonna be different. At any rate, I was watching Kiki's Instagram video where she was trying both of them on and just showing, and I will say they both looked beautiful. Sparkling Peach to me was less unique. Like to me, it had that very like NARS orgasm, that sort of like pinky peach with some gold sheen in it. And it's just not something that I need in my collection. I don't, I guess, technically need any of these, let's face it, but this was just like, ooh, a little bit sheeny, like a bronzer kind of moment, and I just, I just couldn't help myself. So I can't wait to see this one on the skin as well. And then, 
The other product that I got, in fact, this was one of the reasons why I just dove in because these right now I think are being clearanced out. And this is one of the adjusters. So I got the adjuster in white. And the reason that I got this is because I think that it's gonna be perfect for those times where I have a product that it's a little bit too dark, maybe it's a little bit too bold. And so this is a perfect mixing medium for me to be able to like desaturate a little bit. So for instance, I do think that the Sneaky Balm in this shade right now, like it's perfect for me right now, maybe just like a tish too light because we are like in the middle of August, I've seen the most sun that I will see for the next year. <laughs> but uh, in the wintertime, it's gonna be too light. So I can pop a little bit of this in it. I also can take any other foundation that I have, especially if it's one that maybe is a little bit too much coverage and add a little bit of this in because this is gonna be less coverage and also kind of like lighten up that product a little bit. That's my hope anyway. And then for some of my darker cream tint pros, if I really want like a lighter wash of that product for my cheeks, like I just want a little bit lighter color, then I'm hoping I can use this too. So it's just gonna be fun to play with. And it was clearance priced. And then I got the 40% off with the bundle deal. I was like, this is the perfect time to try this. Okay, I feel like this one's getting a little rambly. So we're gonna just go ahead and put on some makeup now, shall we? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do half my face with the Sneaky Balm so that you can see what it looks like. Uh, this really is just a me but better product. You know, it's kind of one of those like gives you some light coverage. I don't think you're ever gonna build it up to more than like light medium because it is very emollient. Uh, it's just one of those like, I, you know, you know that I love a good like tinted moisturizer moment. I like something that's pretty sheer. It does have a nice little glow to it and it just looks beautiful in my opinion. So we're gonna go ahead and do half the face. I'm gonna use this Lerafe F09. This is a great one. Now the one area that I do avoid is like right up below my under eye here and on my lid because it is a little bit more emollient and I don't want that area like creasing or it's not creasing as in like dry, cracky creasing, you know, like what you can have sometimes with some concealers, but it can tend to, you know, migrate a little bit. And so I just tend to avoid like getting right up there. I don't mind if I get a little bit, but I am gonna go through with a different product for a concealer. And so I don't want it to be like, really product heavy right there. It's so hard to just do like half your nose or attempt to do half the nose. And again, I have the shade N10 and this is a really good match for me right now. Like with how tan I am, I probably could be one shade darker. I would always rather be a smidge too light than a smidge too dark because I can always like add a bit more bronzer, things like that. Uh, if it's too dark, I just feel like it tends to start looking mask-like. So to me, it just has a little bit more balance to it, you know? This side, I can still see, I mean, I can still see a bit of my breakout scars, a little bit of pigmentation, but it just looks like very healthy skin, in my opinion. It's gotten rid of a little bit of the redness that I have. And all I have on right now is some moisturizer. Um, I did go through with the original skin matte moisturizer from Origins just to, you know, kind of help with the balance of the glow, especially because I am gonna be running around running some errands this morning. And then I'm planning on coming back and filming more. So I just didn't wanna be like too overly glowy, but this doesn't, it doesn't get like, it's not like oily, but I do find that it is quite emollient anyway. So there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up and then I'll come back and we can throw on some color. I just feel very refined. I feel like I look filtered and I freaking love that. So to add just a little bit of coverage where my darkness is, I'm gonna pop a little bit of the Oma Stay Woke just right through here on my lid and then down the center of my nose just a little bit. So one thing that I will say about the Sneaky Balm is because it's in this little pan and when I did my first initial review, I did talk about like the price per ounce of this and you know, it is something that is a that is, you know, it's a bit more expensive when you really look at how much you get in a pan. The thing is, is if you are looking for some really like full coverage, you want it to be more like quote unquote foundation, I don't think this is gonna be the product for you because this, it can be built up, like I said, from light to light medium maybe, but uh, more than that, and it's probably gonna slide around a little bit and you're just using so much of the product 
that it's just not cost effective. And I don't think that that's what it's meant for. It really is just that sort of like quick model off duty vibe, easy to wear, easy to put on makeup. And so uh, I think that this is a great option. Let's say you're looking for some makeup for someone who is new to makeup. You know, maybe it's someone who is a little bit younger and starting out and you know, you don't want something that's like overly heavy handed or, you know, someone that maybe is a little afraid of getting started with makeup because I think that these are very user-friendly products. So, you know, something like that is a great option or if you're just like me and you love all the glow and you love a good natural skin finish look, which is also great. Okay. So now let's go ahead. We are going to go through with toasted coconut. So I'm gonna swatch out maple and toasted coconut so we can see them both because I have the new RMS blushes. I don't think I'm gonna use the maple shade, but I did wanna show you the two together. All right, so you can see here, the top one is maple and the bottom is toasted coconut. So if I get really nice and close here, I mean, you can see how much sheen these have. Like just, I mean, like the glow that they have just of like gloss. It isn't like super like oily, slicky on the skin, but it does have a really nice gloss. And then this does have some sheen to it, but it's not, I'm actually more impressed with this in person than I thought I would be because it's not, it doesn't look like sheen at all. It's, I think it's just gonna give the skin some glow because I don't see it. Like I don't see shimmer, I don't see anything. I just see luster, you know what I mean? So this is Toasted Coconut and this is the medium sculpt in bronze. You can definitely see a color difference here. Like this one almost has a bit more rosiness to it, whereas the medium is definitely more like warmth, but I think it comes from like an olive warmth. And then again, this is maple and this is cocoa over the top. So cocoa is more saturated again. And I would say it has more brown to it, which sort of makes sense. It's definitely more brown, but they have a similar vibe I do think though you could probably, I would say that I could mix maple with another shade to get closer to cocoa. So now I am gonna take the Lerafe F15 brush. Um, another good one I think would be, you could even take the BK Beauty 112. This has a little softer, not like softer in feel, but like less dense bristles. Uh, you could actually also use the 109. That would actually be a really nice one too but I do, I do love this brush from Lara Faye, uh, but it has been unavailable for a while. So I'm just gonna pop this on kind of like midway through the cheek because this definitely isn't going to be a contour by any means. Like I said, I think this is gonna almost be like blonzer. I'm gonna end up with so much on my cheeks. It's gonna be kind of ridiculous, I think, but in a good way. I'm here to have a make a play date with all of you. Ooh, this is so pretty. I really kind of wish, wow, my hair. <laughs> I really kind of wish that I had something maybe like warmer on, which, you know, for me, like wearing something, I just, yesterday I was at Target and I was like, I just need a couple like quick staple throw on things. And they had these tank tops for like $8 and I had a 30% off coupon. And I was like, well, I'm gonna get some like, shades that I don't normally wear. So I got a navy blue and I got a gray. I had already gotten this in a black and like a dusty mauve and I really like them. They're super comfortable. And I was like, these will be great to just throw on for like the end of summer days and just quick, easy. And then I can layer them come fall. So I am I got a gray and I'm like, you know what? We're going gray today. But now I'm like, oh, it's not giving me summer vibes though. Welcome to this very chatty, all over the place, makeup play date. Okay, so this is Toasted Coconut. That is really pretty. I am glad that I got this. You know, the only thing that I have right now in my collection as far as creams that has a little bit of sheen to it, 
Did I pull it out? I think I may, I think I meant to pull this out because I was planning on doing an end of summer shot my stash. It still might happen, but I have this solar paint from Glossier in Ray, but this has lots of sheen to it. You know what I mean? It's definitely like, hi, I'm wearing like a shimmery bronzer. Whereas this is just like, I just drank a lot of water. I just happen to have a really nice glowy vibe kind of thing. And I really like that. Okay, I'm taking the hair out. Cause I think it's just gonna be easier to like kind of push it out of the way than have it back and dangling around. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed kind of getting to see a couple of the Salt New York products used. They're very beautiful. I know that I will get some good use out of toasted coconut this summer and going into fall and winter, I plan on using my cream tint pros a lot because I have some in here that I've had for a while and I know that they really need to start seeing some use. So I think that for me, the, this formula is just so beautiful when my skin is dry because it just lays on the skin so nicely and doesn't enhance texture at all. So I'm excited to have a few more things in my collection. And like I said, when I use some of these up, if I want palettes to be able to travel with, these are just so nice to have. So now the moment that maybe a lot of you've all been waiting for. The RMS Redimension Hydra Blushes. Love them, love them, love them. Let's go ahead and look at the new shades. We have, this is the first one that I wanted to get. I was like, okay, because if you know, you know that I love Maiden's Blush and I feel like Crystal Slipper is sort of like the lighter, more honestly for me, like fall and winter version of that shade. It is just this beautiful sheeny nude. It's probably not gonna show up that much on my skin right now. I was actually just watching the video that Rosemary Swift did on these new blushes. By the way, she is the founder of RMS. So she was saying that she wanted to create these new shades because some people were feeling a bit intimidated by the original shades, which I kind of get it because I think RMS has this very like no makeup makeup vibe. You know, it's sort of like, and RMS has been around a really long time, right? Like before Glossier, but they sort of have that Glossier vibe, but maybe a little bit higher end and maybe like an age bracket up. You know what I'm saying? So the original RMS Redimension Hydra Blushes, in the pan, some of them look very intimidating. The thing is, is it is such a beautiful thin, like gel to powder formula that you can wear a wash of. You can also build it up to be high intensity. So. I think, you know, when I saw that she was saying that she just wanted something that was like a little bit more refined, something that you can just, you know, put on and you don't have to really worry about that. I mean, you really don't have to worry about it anyway, but you know what I'm saying? Like where it's like, they just look more user-friendly. So I think that that's really interesting. I love watching the videos that she does just because it's really interesting seeing insight into like her thoughts. So then this next one is the shade Cur Royale. So to me, this is, and we'll see, cause I'm gonna put it on the cheeks. I'll give you some swatches too. But this to me is sort of like what I thought Hanky Panky was going to be. I have a feeling. So they say that it's sort of like, ah, oh, what did they say on the website? So they describe Crystal Slipper, the one that I just showed you as a sheer sun-kissed buff, definitely. And then Cur Royale, they say is a dimensional mauve surprise. And so I think that is exactly like, it has that little bit of mauve sheen to it, a bit of plum, but like understated. Now, Hanky Panky has that more warm base. So I feel like when you put it on, your cheek looks fairly warm, but then you have like a plummy glow to it. It's really interesting. So I think this is sort of like, it's like little sister. And then I also picked up Bohemian Girl, which is a retro sunny 70s peach. This is probably the one that I did not need. I mean, I don't, I didn't need any of them, but this is, I, I honestly got this just because I'm in this collector's mentality right now, but also to be able to have for comparison swatches and things. Um, it's, it's the least unique in my opinion, you know, a glowy sunny peach, with some shimmer, with glow. It doesn't have like sparkle to it. I'm like, uh, I probably have that, but I will say that this formula is just superior. It's superior to any powder formula I have, like totally. So, because I am doing my one in one out, by the way, in fact, I plan on filming that later today because I have said that I am trying to not grow my collection too much. So I am gonna try to do a one in one out, which means that I have to find not just three, but I have to find four powder blushes probably to go because I did pick up uh, Mai Tai recently. Mm -hmm. So 
but I, I don't mind because I can find colors that are maybe similar that I love the formula of this better. And you know, that's what we'll do. So stay tuned for that. So you can see what I'm choosing to kick out of my collection to bring these babies in. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is let's first start out with crystal slipper, just because I have a feeling that we're not going to be able to see this one a lot on the cheeks. So I think we'll get a good little idea of how it looks. And then I can just kind of like build the other colors over it. Maybe. Oh, maybe I should do some hand swatches first. I'm just so excited to get these on my face. Now, like I said, right now, especially on my arms and my hands, I am the most tan I will be this year. So, <laughs> so you know, these products will all probably be used quite a bit more come the uh, winter time. Yeah, oh yeah, I can tell that this is probably, you're, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see these. So on the top here, right here where I have my little like, Beauty Mark, that is the shade Crystal Slipper. And then we have Cur Royale under that, and then Bohemian Girl under that. And obviously, when it comes to blush, you're never gonna wear a blush like, like a swatch. <laughs> it's not eyeshadow, you know what I mean? So these will sheer out. Let me see if I can get a little bit of sheerness. So you can see there. I mean, they're just really glowy. I have to say, I feel like the only one here that is like medium to deep skin friendly would maybe be Cur Royale if you want like a nice bright pop. I think that the other two could possibly be like nice glowy powders, uh, maybe even highlighters, you know, just like that really nice soft wash, but they're all really quite light. I will say that I think that several of the other shades from the collection are definitely like darker skin friendly. Now let's go ahead and pop this on. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of crystal slipper on this side. It's funny because it almost like cut down the glow of uh, the sneaky balm. It's like less glowy. But here's what I was talking about, like the texture and the finish of the sneaky balm and the cream tint pros, like you've got more glow coming because I obviously didn't set my face at all. So here is what the Crystal Slipper shade looks like. It's very close to my skin right now, just a little bit more peachy. So now why don't we over the top on this side, I'm just gonna wipe this brush off. We'll go through with Bohemian Girl. That's that peachy one. So you can see that's definitely bringing more color to my face. That's really pretty. Okay, Bohemian Girl. I mean, I really like that. You know, I love a good peachy moment. It's not, <laughs> it's not a secret. So now we're gonna take Corail and put it on the other side. And then what I'm probably gonna do is just have to like mix them both together so that I can get out of the house and not look overly mismatched, right? So Cur Royale, we're gonna do on the other side here. By the way, in case you care, uh, I was using the Refer 04 brush, and this is just a Sony Kashuk brush that I'm grabbing. So Cur Royale on this side. Mm -hmm, definitely cooler toned. So obviously Crystal Slipper is under here, but you can't really see it much on my face right now. I think if you are very fair, this is going to be so beautiful on you, so beautiful. I'm gonna enjoy this one in the winter time for sure, or even just like to top off other blushes to give it just a little bit of like nude glow. Like I could see this almost being like my version of highlighter, you know? It's just very pretty, like almost like that hourglass, like ambient lighting powder kind of vibe. That's sort of what this has. Okay, so again, we have Bohemian Girl on this side and Cur Royale on this side. Very pretty. So now I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do a little mix. So I'm gonna put a little Cur Royale over here. And then we're gonna take some of Bohemian Girl and pop it over here. Now the nice thing about this, right, I'm pretty zoomed into you right now, is that I don't feel like it looks like I have a ton of powder on my face. You know, like these are so thin that, I mean, I just put three colors on this cheek. 
right? But I feel like it, honestly, it just looks like skin. It just looks like skin. Between the Salt New York products and the RMS, like I just feel like this is totally like perfect. It's just perfection. There is no extra, there's no extra texture at all. I feel like I could build this and build this and I wouldn't have a problem. I would probably get quite glowy, but it looks really beautiful. Right, I'm feeling a little bit imbalanced though because I don't have uh, anything on my eyes. So I think what I'm gonna do maybe is let's try using this as like a little shadow, this being the crystal slipper shade. So I'm just gonna whisk this color all over. I'm just taking my Wayne Goss 5. This is from the Edit Collection and we'll just pop this all over the lids. Cause this is gonna be a good way to kind of see some of that tone. Oh yeah, you can kind of see that like nude, I mean beige, I think that's what they said it is, this is a nude beige. So I have nothing on this eye and I can see on this, it's just like the sheerest wash of color. Okay, I definitely need some brow enhancement though, but I am gonna keep the eyes nice and light. I do have this really fun mascara to try out for all of you. So I've tried it a couple times. This is the Le 8 Hypnos. So it has it has the number eight in it. So I have the shade number four, Noir Malachite, which is an emerald. And it says that this is a buildable volume and revitalizing care mascara. It's serum infused. And the brand says that it is powered by an innovative formula made of 91% black balm, eight revitalizing amino acids and shea butter, hence the eight. This mascara creates buildable volume and revitalized lashes in four weeks. So it does come in a black, but it also comes in three color undertones. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a little bit of this onto my hand just so you can see. This is a stunning, like lightly sheeny green shade. I mean, I just smushed out mascara onto my hand, but you can see it's this like slightly sheeny green shade. I will say this is what I was wearing when we were at the car show and got rained on. And I was like, am I gonna look like Alphaba? Am I gonna have like green <laughs> running down my face? And it stayed on. It wasn't like pouring rain, but my lashes definitely got wet. This doesn't say that it is waterproof as far as I can see, but I definitely found that it was water resistant. Now this is normally $33. So this isn't the cheapest mascara by any means, by any means, but it is a very nice one. So I have really enjoyed this mascara. I did wanna share it with all of you. I was sent it from Influencer, by the way. So it was sent to me in exchange for a review, actually in exchange for like a TikTok video, which I gotta do. I'm getting off TikTok, y'all, by the way. Like, I mean, I'm barely ever on there, but like as a creator, I'm I'm just over it. Anyway, <laughs> the mascara. So I think this is a glass, a glass mascara tube. Like, uh, if you don't like it as a mascara, you could have it in your purse as a weapon. Seriously, this thing is heavy. It is heavy, it's gotta be glass. So, All right, so I popped the mascara on this eye have like one and a half coats on here. I will say, I feel like this is a fairly wet mascara. So if that's not really your jam, uh, you might wanna be careful. So I do have to say, uh, I, I put it on this eye first and these lashes are just like not cooperating lately. So once I got it on this, I remembered again that I like this mascara significantly more than I thought I did when I put it on this side. So for me, this is a, light volume formula and it does also add a little bit of definition. It's not overly lengthening. It doesn't give you like chunky lashes. I've built up about two coats here, maybe three coats. The thing for me is, and this is, you know, fairly open. Like I've used this like three or four times now. This mascara is fairly wet. And I think that's why I struggle on this side because this side just does not like to stay curled. So for me, what I would probably do with this mascara is put on one coat of a mascara that I feel like really helps hold my curl and then top it off with this for that color. And I mean, I don't think you're gonna look at me and be like, wow, she's wearing green mascara because it's very subtle. You know, it's that subtle color. So. At full price, if this is $33, I don't know. And again, like the thing is, is like that serum property where it's like, oh, it, you know, gives you better lashes in three, four weeks or whatever. I wouldn't wear this every day. You know, I don't need a subtly green mascara every day in my life. They do have a black, they do have a black, if that's your thing. I just don't know that this would be something that I would buy at full price. At around, you know, that $22, $23 mark, you're at about the same cost as every other high-end mascara. So 
maybe there, especially if there's a color within this that you find hard to find, you know? Like, I think blue mascara, a lot of companies do blues, but if you wanted like either the amethyst or the green, you could go ahead and give this a go. I'm not sure if the black also has that little bit of sheen, like, cause you can see here, maybe if I get this packaging up, can you see that it is slightly sheeny? You know, it's not a flat green. So does it enhance my eye color a little bit? Who knows? Like, I don't, again, I just feel like I'm wearing mascara. I don't feel like I'm wearing green mascara at all, but I just wanted to zoom this out. So I did also, by the way, put on some lip gloss. I just threw on the City Lips color in Los Angeles. I talked about these recently. I'm obsessed with these lip plumping glosses. Can't stop, won't stop, don't need to stop. That's also another thing that I'm maybe gonna need to like figure out in my one in one out situation. <sighs> Although I don't know that I'm going to include things that are sent to me. <sighs> I think it'll just be purchases. And obviously that City Lips was sent to me as well. So maybe, maybe I won't have to, but I did buy some lips recently. So I will have to own up for those. Anyway, that video is coming soon. But anyway, I do have to get to my appointment now. So what that means is you're gonna get to see a little mini wear test on this. So it'll probably be a couple hours before I get to come back to you so we can see how the Sneaky Balm has held up, how the layers and layers of cheek products <laughs> have held up, and we'll see how the mascara holds up as well. All right, lovelies, I will see you in just a moment. So it has been, like I said, just a couple hours, but I feel like everything still looks really good. If anything, I feel like the powders have just kind of like set into my skin since I didn't use a setting spray at all. And I just feel like everything looks glowy, beautiful. I'm liking this like, just sort of, you know, like chill makeup. It's not a lot. It's like just enough to make me feel a little bit more put together. So let's talk about the other things that I have. Okay, first of all, I have to show this because I just got this in the mail. Look what BK Beauty sent over. So if you saw on my Instagram stories, I did have this on my wish list, and I'm so grateful that the team at BK Beauty sent this over. I am an affiliate, by the way, and I think that my code Keep Beauty Real will save you 15% off of this bag if you are interested in getting this. If you're like me and you like having quite a few makeup brushes with you when you travel, or if you want something where you can even have makeup brushes and some makeup in, this is gonna be really awesome. I think that this is just so beautiful and luxe and I love the design of it. So let's go ahead and see what we can pop in here. So I'm gonna pop in, of course, a 101 brush. Let's just grab a few other brushes. Like I'm just gonna grab a chunk. So the nice thing about this is, okay, like let's say I've got some makeup brushes in here. Maybe I also, now that I just got that Salt New York, little haul in, so I wanna put this in here as well. I bet this is totally gonna fit. Yes, absolutely. Now, the cool thing is, oh, look at that. Like, you're gonna pop this up like this to be able to zip it up and travel with it. So, here we go. So I can travel with this. I, I could chuck quite a bit more in here, in all honesty. But then let's say you are at your hotel, you're at wherever you're staying, and you're ready to get ready for the day. So you can just simply unzip this, and then you'll pop this down. I'm gonna need two hands to be able to do this. Boom. And then this is like your standing brush holder too, which is really nice. So. For me, I do really like the little travel set that they sent, that's the one with the zippered case, but that can't hold nearly as much as this can. <laughs> so if you're like me and minimalist packing is not your jam, this might be a great way to go. So I think this is gonna be such a lovely gift, something to gift yourself if you are on the road a lot. I'm really excited. And I mean, seriously, I could chuck a lot of stuff in here. I don't think that I would keep makeup in this, but like I said, like let's say I'm just having a quick little weekend getaway. I could toss this, a mascara, a brow, gel and maybe like my City Lips lip gloss in and then be good to go, right? Like that would be very doable. So I'm mostly though going to be using this for brushes and I think this is gonna be really nice. I do also like that because, you know, this has a little bit more room than the little travel case does. If I do have bigger brushes, I'll be able to keep them in here without them getting smushed. So really think this is smart. I think that, you know, it's gonna pack easier than like a hard standing case would. So it's sort of like the best of both worlds. And I'm really excited. So thank you so much to the BK Beauty team. I will, by the way, have my affiliate link to this bag down below along with my discount code in case you do want to check into it. I'm very excited to use this and I will keep you updated in the future as well. So I was just so excited when I saw that coming in the mail. So thank you so much again to the team. All right. 
another huge thank you. I received a very, very sweet package to a longtime follower and fellow makeup friend. I was honestly just blown away when I opened up this package. So Tanya sent over these beautiful Glaminatrix palettes and I have never used this brand. So I wanted to share them with all of you. Uh, I think this is the one that really like put Glaminatrix on the map for all of us. This is the U Beauty palette. You cannot get this palette anymore. I think a while ago they had a restock and then it was kind of like a, hey, this is the last time for this one. I am so excited to try this palette out. I'm gonna take off the little sheet here. So a really fun color story. I'm definitely excited. You know me, I'm gonna get that yellow going. This, uh, this, multi-chrome here I think everyone was super excited about. So this one is very beautiful and very fun. So I'm really excited to give this one a go, but especially since I seem to be in a little neutral moment and it's so funny because I just did that uh, top 10 basic B palettes and I have a feeling if you ask me in another like month or two, this is gonna be on there. This nearly neutral palette. Oh, it's upside down. This nearly neutral palette. So. When I saw this one come out and when I saw the swatches, I was very tempted. I was very tempted, but this, and I don't know why I didn't get it. I think it was probably just like thinking about the shipping, thinking about waiting for it. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but this, it just looks even better in person. Oh my gosh. So if this isn't a Kelly palette, I don't know what is. Like you've got some beautiful like rose goldy tones. You have some mauves. Look at these. I don't know if it's even showing up on camera, but you've got this more like, green khaki vibe here. Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. I cannot wait to get into these. I mean, you've got just such beautiful neutrals and neutral plus. Like you've even got like a beautiful taupey shade in here. Oh, these are so delicious, like lickable. <laughs> I'm so excited for this palette. So thank you, Tanya, so, so much. That is just so sweet of you and I'm very excited to try this out. So part of the reason why I'm hauling these today is to give a big thank you to Tanya, but also to ask if you would like to see me use these. I think I would probably end up using this one on camera just because you can't get the U Beauty palette anymore, but I also know this palette's been out a while. Are we all bored of it? Do you wanna know my thoughts and opinions? I would consider doing a little like to look tutorial or something like that if this is something that you're curious about and you wanna know my opinions. So let me know down below what your thoughts are. Uh, otherwise, I have a feeling I'll probably just use it on my own and then you know give you an update in sort of like a monthly favorites and fails. So we will see, but I am very excited to get my hands into this. I was actually telling Tanya that I was like, I wanted to use it like the morning after I unboxed it, but I just, I just wanna get some pictures and I don't wanna get my little grubby fingers in there until I get to take some pictures. It's a very content creator way of looking at things. What can I say? All right, so let's chat a little bit about everything we use today. So, I mean, I love my sneaky balm and I think that the toasted coconut looks really pretty. I had no doubts. I think I'm actually more pleased with toasted coconut than I thought I was going to be, which is great. But I do know that I like the Salt New York formulas. So again, if you like a fairly emollient product, if you like a good, beautiful, like just, looks so great on the skin product. Maybe it doesn't have a lot of coverage, but it just gives you that little bit of confidence. If you like a really good, beautiful, like gorgeous cheek color. I personally, I know that some people say that they don't find that they last that long, but I actually find that I get, again, a good five hour wear out of them. You know, like I feel like that's pretty good for a cream product if it's not like a die hard long wear one. So I just really enjoy these and I wanted to kind of give you an update. Still love Salt New York, just love the formulas. Kiki does such a great job with the colors. So I'm also pretty pleased with these RMS blushes. I think that these new shades are on the more subtle side as far as the color goes, but the formulation, that beautiful like natural glow is everything that I want in a blush. So it's definitely well worth bringing into my collection and also trying to find things that I can now displace and get rid of in my one in one out situation. By the way, I will have my referral code down below for RMS. They have a 30 off of 60 off of your first purchase. So I will have those. Um, I will also put down my affiliate link. That is gonna be it for today, lovelies. Thank you for 
hanging out with me for this little haul try on down below in the comments if you've tried any of these products I would love to know your thoughts I think as far as like updates on any of these products most of these I've used the formula of before and I really enjoy so I don't I feel like well today most of this was first impressions of trying things on I know that I really love the formulas the only one is the Lancome mascara and I like it I like it is it a love maybe not is it gonna be a like at a good sale price? Probably. <laughs> okay, that's it for today, lovelies. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a great day. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like on your way out and I will see you really soon.